Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we have daily challenges, Madame Nazar's location, as well as collector daily challenges. So I do have group two's coin collection about to be uploaded, hopefully within a couple hours of this video. And there's gonna be tons of XP and cash that you can get. There's gonna be tons of collectible items along that coin route. So other things we have, we have the Berg shooting contest, feathers sold, multiple players killed in posse versus. You also have some other things like, um, you know, donations to Crips and also bounties brought in from a Lemoyne poster. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is Madame Nazar's location. She is around the Dewberry Creek Emerald Ranch area, which is more convenient than where she's been the past couple days. So that's uh, pretty good news. So the first thing here, we have the Nine Bandit Armadillo. You can find all over New Austin, pretty much from Armadillo West. Couple locations, I like to go Cholo Springs, also down south near the St. Louis River, but you can find them all over this area. The northern part near Cholo Springs and also in the Armadillo area. You only need to go ahead and find one, but it is a challenge day and these suckers can be hard to find sometimes. So for the springs, yesterday we had it as a challenge, but a lot of people said it was broken. No matter where they went here, it wasn't registering. You saw right there, I just came into the very first part and it registered. So hopefully it's working for everybody today. It's a little north of Cumberland Forest and you can go to Wapiti and fast travel for quick access. So the next thing we're gonna talk about for the people that do not have metal detectors are items found with a shovel. You will need to find a location that has that yellow animation. Luckily, there is a couple spots over here, not too far from where you're going to go to get your armadillo. These two locations are definite spots where you can get with just a shovel if you don't have a metal detector. Although I advise you getting a metal detector at the first moment you can. You can end up making tons of money and XP that way. This location right here should be another location that you can get without a metal detector or that one as well. But between those last two, one of those is definitely the third location. So as far as arrowheads, I ended up finding tons of them today, so I'm gonna guarantee that you should be able to find these along the route. Now, if you do not have a metal detector, because sometimes arrowheads are in metal boxes that are buried, you can just go ahead and purchase a map. It will only give you locations for arrowheads if you only have the shovel for diggable locations. So here are some locations that you can't find one. There is a couple of cannons that are right in between the cannons. Another one just a little north of where you see the word San in San Luis River. And then as you start to head north, there's a couple locations, one on this island right here. And we go ahead and move a little east, right near the H in uh, New Hanover. There is another one right here, which happens to be an obsidian arrowhead at that location and another one in Dewberry Creek. So these are the locations for today. However, they do randomly change every day. So for items found with a metal detector, for you guys that want to wait, I'm going to post that video. Tons of XP. I still have a couple more clips I need to put together. But uh, here are some locations. That's the first coin location for today. There is a coin. I mean, there is another item there. I'm pretty sure it could be an arrowhead in a lockbox. That is another coin location that is part of Group 2's coin locations. That's coin number three. And I think we start to move into some other areas where you can find some items with the metal detector. However, I will be uploading that video within a couple hours. I'm guaranteeing at least 13,000 XP and probably another thousand dollars. But I still have two more locations that I have to go to with probably another 20 different type of collectibles before I can finish that video off. So as we finish off the video, more locations where you can find either coins or items with a metal detector. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time.